All right, let's meet our teams and we'll begin with the St. Charles team. My name is Riley Joseph. I'm a junior at St. Charles High School and I would like to thank our wonderful coaches, Ms. Potter and Mr. Howard. My name is Luzanne Oliver. I'm a senior at St. Charles High School and I would like to thank our friends and family at St. Charles. My name is Jamie Fleury and I would like to thank our excellent principal, Mr. Conley and the St. Charles community for supporting our endeavors. All right, now the team from North Point. I'm Sophia Carpentier, and I would like to thank our, mm. our coaches, Ms. Stewart and Ms. Rock. My name is Ishan Chada. Uh, I'm a sophomore at North Point High School, and I'd like to thank our wonderful principal, Mr. Daniel Cable. And the team from Thomasville. Um, I'm Aaron Huber. Okay. I'm Aaron Huber, and I'd like to thank our alternate Face Meadows and our other team members. Hi, my name is Clayton, and I'd like to thank our coach, Ms. Jeffrey, and, and the rest of our team, and Ms. Hopper. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jonathan Pell. I am a junior at Thomas Stone. I would like to thank Ms. Pearl, our principal, and all of our staff. All right, how about a round of applause for these teams? And teams, I think, if it's all right up in the booth, that we, it will benefit all of us if you can maybe pull those microphones a little closer to you, because they, they work really close to the mouths and they're, they're kind of far away, so I think we might be able to hear you and hear, hear you a little bit better. And if not taking a chance, just try to speak as loudly as you can um, when we ask the questions. All right. So, round one is a category round. All the questions have something to do with the word or concept of Italy. Man, your buzzers. I'll ask the question at any time you can buzz in, wait till I call on your school, and then you'll have three seconds to respond. Uh, if you answer correctly, you receive 10 points. If you answer incorrectly, you'll lose 10 points, okay? We have 10 questions in this round, and Anne, are we ready for this now? Am I in the right, I'm in the right spot? Okay, all right, here we go. First question. Born in Venice and ordained a Catholic priest, he taught music for many years at a home for abandoned children, named this Italian Baroque composer of the concertos called The Four Seasons. Uh, North Point. Antonio Vivaldi. That is correct. Next question. The five lines of a limerick form one of these literary objects, as do both a couplet and a quatrain. Give this six-letter Italian word, often used as a synonym for verse in poetry and music. North Point. Stanza. That is correct. Next question. Regarded as being one of the most dangerous and the only one on the European mainland, name this volcano that was responsible for the destruction of Pompeii, St. Charles. Oh, Vesuvius. Vesuvius. That is correct. Next question. His mother's family left Italy to escape the Mussolini regime. Name this Argentine religious leader who now serves as Bishop of Rome and as Pope of the Roman Catholic Church. St. Charles. Pope Francis. That is correct. Next question. Name the Italian basketball star, the first Italian to win an NBA title, who is now on his second stint with the San Antonio Spurs. All right, we're out of time on that. That would be Marco Bellinelli. Next question. Wagner, Verdi, Mozart, and Puccini are famous composers whose works can be seen at the La Scala in Milan, Italy. Name this musical genre whose buffa, or comic form, includes the Barber of Seville and whose Syria, or serious form, includes Madame Butterfly. Opera. 
Opera? St. Charles. Opera? That is correct. Next question. In the Middle Ages, it included what is now Florence, Italy, given its official name at the coronation of its emperor Otto I in 962 AD, named this empire finally conquered in 1806 by Napoleon. St. Charles. What is the Holy Roman Empire? That is correct. Next question. Named for the Italian scientist who first described it, an object that stops inside this object may create a dangerous ectopic pregnancy. What tube connects a woman's ovary with her uterus? St. Charles. Olympian. That is correct. Next question. Name the Italian sports car maker whose models include the Spider and the Portofino and whose logo shows the Ferrari. stone. Ferrari. That is correct. Yeah. Final question. His architectural work in his native Italy includes a tomb for Pope Julius II and the Medici Chapel. Name this artist, most famous for his paintings on the ceiling of the Sistine Stone. Michelangelo? That is correct. And that is the end of the first round. How about a round of applause for the team? Thank you. Here we go, St. Charles. Here's your first question. Alcoholism may cause severe damage to this organ that hardens and develops cirrhosis. Name this organ of your body whose other disorders may include jaundice and hepatitis. Liver. That is correct. Next question. After his invasion of Russia failed, he was exiled to the island of Elba and eventually to the faraway island of St. Helena. Name this dictator of France who lost to England in the 1815 Battle of Waterloo. Napoleon. That is correct. Next question. Artists in this medium include Dorothea Lange during the Depression and Ansel Adams in landscapes with Yosemite National Park. What art form did Matthew Brady use to visually capture the Civil War? Be photography, photography. Next question. He tries not to let his marriage to the insane Bertha stand between him and his newfound love, a governess 20 years his junior. Name this character in Charlotte Bronte's novel, Jane Eyre. Edward Rochester. So now you have the envelopes. So now get your paper and pencil ready. Wait for the envelope. And okay, open the envelope with the math question. And here we go. How many rectangular tiles, three inches by six inches, are sold in a case that contains 12 square feet of tile? Ninety-six, ninety-six. Next question. Used to cool off nuclear reactors, it is even used to fill up blimps because it, because it is much less flammable than hydrogen. Name this second element in the periodic table. What is oh helium? That's correct. Yeah, that's what Next question. By 1920, more than half of all Georgia farmers were called by. What term? Because they worked on farmland they did not own and had to give the landowner a large percentage of yes. each year's production. Sharecroppers? That is correct. Your final question. What three-letter prefix that creates new words when put before science and metric and appears at the beginning of words for a branch of science and a branch of math comes from the Greek for earth? Geo? That is correct. All right, so now you guys get to pick the 
questions for the next two teams. We have one and two. Uh, two, please. Two, okay. We'll wait for your envelopes. of an impala, the scales of a rattlesnake, and the feather of a sparrow are all made of what protein substance that is also found in human hair, human skin, and human fingernails? Keratin. That is correct. Next question. Lasting for more than a year and covering an estimated 4,000 miles, this wartime strategy was led by the communist leader Mao Zedong during the Chinese Civil War. Name this movement where over 8,000 followers survived starvation and fighting from the Chinese nationalists led by Chiang Kai-shek. Great Leap Forward? No, I'm sorry, the Long March, the Long March. Next question. Architectural and cathedral are types of what artistic medium, often seen in religious buildings, whose colors are added before a window is created, whose medium is highly breakable? Stained glass. That is correct. Next question. Name the Dickens character whose encounters with people like Wemmick, Estella, and Miss Havisham teach him that wealth and circumstance are not always what is meant by great expectations. Oliver Twist? No, I'm sorry, it was Philip Pitt. Okay, so you have the envelope in front of you, get your paper and pencil ready, and go ahead and open the envelope with the math question. And here it is. In terms of pi, give the circumference of a circle whose area is 36 pi square meters. 12 pi. That is correct. Next question. All right, here we go. Vanadium, to make sulfuric acid, is an example of what object that can be inserted into a chemical reaction to accelerate the reaction without being chemically changed in any way by the reaction? A catalyst? That is correct. Next question. During the 1790s, while Washington, D.C. was built, what city north of Washington served as the capital of the United States? Philadelphia. That is correct. Here's your final question. The Latin root flect in the words reflexive and deflect means what four-letter verb whose contradictory definitions are to straighten a curved thing and to make straight or, and to make a straight thing into a curve. And that would be to bend, to bend, okay. All right, Thomas Stone, you guys get questions one. And here we go with your first question. An ounce of peas, a half ounce of nuts, a half cup of beans and three ounces of meat, all equal one serving of what essential nutrient made from chains of amino acids? Protein. That is correct. That is correct, just in time. Here's your next question. Promoted by Mikhail Gorbachev in the 1980s, this term was originally referred to increasing automation and labor efficiency in the Soviet Union. 
What word was given to this political movement by the Communist Party that promoted social and political reconstruction? Perestroika. Next question. How many times is it going to be in between questions, do you think? No, that's not an official question. <laughs> Anne's giving me the EY over there. <laughs> She'll be in my house tomorrow to <laughs> for a recap. All right, here we go. Next question. What document, usually about 100 pages long and held together with brads, acts as the written text of a movie and is given to actors so they can learn their lines? Script. That is correct. Next question. What Shakespeare play with the well-known warning to beware the Ides of March has its title character killed by a group that includes Brutus, sparking the famous line, A tu Brute? Julius Caesar. That is correct. All right, now, get your paper and pencil ready. Go ahead and open the envelope with the math question. And here we go. Give the volume of a rectangular prism that is 3 and 4 7 meters tall, 12 25 meters wide, and 7 16 meters deep. Three quarters cubic meter, or 0 0.75 cubic meter. Okay. Here we go with our next question. Typically having a balance of plus three, members of what series within the periodic table include erbium and terbium, have their own row above the actinides, and are sometimes called the rare earth metals. Alkaline metals? No, I'm sorry, lanthanide, lanthanide. Next question. Best known for one if by land and two if by sea, what revolutionary war hero's midnight ride was immortalized by poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow? Paul Revere. That is correct. And here's our final question, final question of the team round. What three-letter Latin prefix can mean secondary in front of the word urban, almost in front of the word continent, or under in front of the words title, contractor, and way? By? No, I'm sorry, sub, sub. But that's the end of the round. How about a round of applause for all the team? All right, here we go. Ten questions, first question. Festivals of this musical genre include one on Beale Street in Memphis, Tennessee. Name this genre whose subcategories, Stone. Jazz. Is correct. Next question. Tony Preto and Beth Hooper are among the minor characters in this series of stories. The House on the Cliff was the second novel to feature what pair of brothers from Bayport named Frank and Joe? That would be the Hardy Boys. Next question. British scientist Robin Hill showed that a plant's method of oxygen production is different from its method of converting carbon dioxide to sugar. Name this process used by plants to make St. Charles. Photosynthesis. That is correct. Next question. Name the major golf tournament that is now played each May after the Masters but before the British and U.S. Opens. That would be the PGA Championship. Next question. This failed artist spent a year in jail for trying to overthrow his country's government. What leader's time from 1933 to 1945? St. Charles. Hitler. Hitler is correct. Next question. 
Adverbs described by this term include when and where. Give this eight letter word that as a noun can describe your uncle, your niece, or your second cousin once removed. St. Charles. Relationship? Judges? No. Relative. Relative. Next question. Mental math time. If the base of a triangle is 14 feet and its height is 20 feet, what is its area? North Point. 140 feet squared. That is correct. Next question. The initial public offering of its stock took place just days after release of its film, Toy Story. Name this company, St. Charles. Except. That's correct. Next question. The fork on this trail in Kansas allowed travelers to go south through Oklahoma or north through Colorado. Identify this trail of the 1800s. Stone. Oregon. No, I'm sorry, Santa Fe Trail. Final question, final question for the whole round. Small parts of this object were discovered by J.J. Thompson, named this tiny particle, considered the foundation of St. Charles. That is correct, and that's the end of this round. How about a round of applause for these teams? All right, let's meet the teams. We'll start with La Plata. Hello, I'm Margaret Stein. I'm a senior at La Plata High School, and I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Dolan, for coming out and supporting us tonight. Hello, I'm Tanner Wyatt. I'm a senior at La Plata High School. I'd like to thank our family, friends, and also our two, our two coaches, Mrs. Schoenbauer and Mr. Holmes. Hello, my name is Jenna Birch, and I would like to thank our amazing alternate, Sam Uario, as well as the rest of our wonderful team for coming out and supporting us tonight and at all of our meetings. My name is Sarah Harmon, uh, and I'd like to thank our alternates for coming and supporting us. Hi, my name is Annie Langraff. I'm a senior at Lackey, and I'd like to thank our principal, Ms. Perillo. Hi, my name is Bruna Bodie. I'm a junior, and I'd like to thank our coach, Mr. H. Hi, my name is Skylar Adams. I'm a junior, and I would like to thank our family and friends at Westwood High School. Hi, I'm Hannah Schaffner. I'm a senior, and I would like to thank our team and coaches for coming out. I'm Elijah Watkins, and I thank my, my uh, coaches and family friends for coming out. Thank you. Ten questions. Here we go with the first question. Gustav Klimt's version of this artwork shows a couple both wearing gold robes. Um, Wesley. The kiss. The kiss is correct. Next question. His distinctive look is the result of losing one eye to childhood glaucoma. Identify this rap singer who once had, again, yeah, Wesley. Betty Watt. That is correct. Next question. Cataracts are a common disease that attacks this part of the eye. Name the part of the eye that works with the cornea to refract or bend light in order to create clear images of objects. Uh, Lackey. The retina? No, I'm sorry, the lens. lens. Next question. Her losing sight in one eye ended her dreams of being a surgeon. Name this American doctor, the first female in the United States to earn an MD degree. That would be Elizabeth Blackwell. Next question. The battle to succeed Edward the Confessor saw the death of the losing side's commander by an arrow to the eye. Name this battle where William the Conqueror was Battle of Hastings? Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> Next question. Its channels include 80s on 8, 90s on 9, and E Street Radio. Name this satellite radio company. Sirius XM. That's correct. Next question. The most famous artifact from his reign lists rules for commercial interactions. Identify this ruler of ancient Babylon. Hammurabi. That is correct. Next question. 
Identify the item of safety equipment worn over the head and designed to protect your eyes from chemical spills in a laboratory. Wesley. Goggles. That is correct. Next question. In her book, The Story of My Life, she says, in the dreary month of February came the illness which closed my eyes and ears. One American pupil of Ann Sullivan learned to communicate in spite of being deaf, blind, Wesley. Helen Keller? That is correct. Here's the final question in round one. This deity gave up one of his eyes to gain wisdom from Mimmer's well. Name this Norse god who rides the horse slate here, La Plata. Odin? That is correct. And that's the end of the first round. Of the round. One <laughs> All right, here we go, La Plata. Here's your first question. Well, before we do that, let me just remind you, you have eight questions in this round. You get 20 points for answering correctly. There is no deduction for an incorrect, so take your best shot at it. Here we go. First question. Author Isaac Asimov distinguished this genre from fantasy by saying that fantasy plots can never happen in real life, but plots in this genre can. Name this genre whose works are often set in outer space. Science fiction. That is correct. Next question. Wait. Considered fog at low altitude, what cloud type looks like a gray blanket and may combine a cumulus cloud to cover an entire area of sky? Uh, cumulonimbus? No, I'm sorry, stratus. Hmm. Next question. Colleges in this state include one named for Revolutionary War Commander William Davidson. What states also colleges also include Wake Forest, Winston-Salem State, and Duke? Where's Duke? Where's Massachusetts. Massachusetts? No, I'm sorry, other way, North Carolina. North Carolina. Next question. On a piano, the first note of the scale is, is in this key. It's always a half step below the first key of a set of three black keys. Identify this musical key whose key signature is one flat. F. More specific? F major. That's correct. Here you go. Next question. During the late 1800s, several countries in Western Europe began to develop hegemony, or power and dominance over large areas of Africa. Spell the word hegemony. Oh, H-E-G-E-M-O-N-Y. That is correct. All right, get your paper and pencil ready. Now you can open the envelope that she gave you before the round. Our math question. And here we go. Give the sum of the square root 49x raised to the fourth power and the cube root of 512x raised to the sixth power. 15x squared. That is correct. Next question. This type of organization is most easily created when only a few producers control an entire market. What type of economic organization has been created by groups that sell crude oil or illegal drugs? There's monopoly. Yeah, monopoly. Monopoly? monopoly? I'm sorry, cartel. 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 Final question. Its edible varieties include spider and dungeness. Name this crustacean whose tail is usually hidden under its thorax and whose claws may create a painful pinch. Crab. That is correct. All right. <laughs> you get to pick the questions for Lackey. We have two and three. 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 All right, Lackey, here we go. Well, we'll go in just a second. All right, here we go with your first question. Richard Wright's book, 
Black Boy is an example of what literary genre in which the main character tells the real story of his own life and is thus more comprehensive than a memoir? An autobiography? That is correct. Next question. What natural disaster whose intensity is measured on the Fujita scale is created within a thunderstorm when the wind direction and speed change enough to create a spinning effect? A hurricane? No, sorry, tornado, tornado. Next question. Goodwell and Knowles are among the towns in its far west panhandle area between Texas and Colorado. Name this state whose major cities include Stillwater, Norman, and Tulsa. Oklahoma. That is correct. Next question. This note on a flute or violin is the equivalent of F on a clarinet or trumpet. Its namesake triad contains the notes G natural and B flat. Name this note, the second black key in every set of two on a piano. E flat. That is correct. Next question. Many major cities struggle to clean up the garbage or debris covered by the city's parades or homeless populations. Spell the French word debris. D-E-B-R-I-S. That is correct. All right, now get your paper and pencil ready. And go ahead and open the envelope with the math question. And here it is. The quantity x to the fourth power raised to the twelfth power equals the quantity x to the sixth power raised to what power? Uh, x to the eighth power. That is correct. All right, here we go. Next question. Some economists believe that this should be taxed lightly or not at all compared to other sources of income. Name this profit a person can realize from the sale of property. Property income? No, I'm sorry, capital gains, capital gains. Final question. You may find this group of plants in a forest or wetland. Different from moss because of its vascular structure, what group of plants has no seeds or flowers and thus reproduces with spores? Mushrooms? No, I'm sorry, ferns, ferns. All right, Westlake, here we go. You guys get packet two. Thank you. All right, here we go. Here's your first question. Often set in the 1880s, its stock of characters include a mountain man an outlaw, and a local gunslinger. What literary genre's examples include Lonesome Dove, The Virginian, and All the Pretty Horses? Western. That is correct. Next question. A sound wave through air and a wave traveling through water are examples of what type of wave that causes particles to move back and forth as it passes by? and is contrasted with a transverse wave. Hi. Longitudinal. Next question. Netstate.com divides its land area into east and west Gulf coastal plains and the Mississippi alluvial plain. Its lakes include Pontchartrain. Name this state between Texas and Mississippi. Louisiana. That is correct. Next question. Two answers needed. In a D major scale, give the total number of whole steps and the total number of half steps between pairs of notes. Your two answers should sum to seven. 
two and five. More specifically, which two and which five? Um, the, the tracing in that order? Yeah. I didn't hear what she said. She said two and five. Will you, will you accept that? No. No, okay. We needed the number of whole steps and the number of half steps. We needed five whole steps and two half steps. You have the right, you have the right numbers. Okay, next question. Cell phone service that cuts in and out while you're driving can be described by the adjective intermittent. Spell intermittent. I N T E R I N well N T. No, I'm sorry. I N T E R M I T T E N T. All right, here we go with our math question. Get your paper and pencil ready. Open the envelope. And here's a question. Give the largest value of x that satisfies the inequality 4x minus 8 is less than or equal to 96. Um, 26. That is correct. Next question. To decide which group has this in a situation, figure out which has the lower opportunity cost. What two-word economic term describes the ability of one group to make something at less cost than someone else? Cost value? No, I'm sorry, comparative advantage. That was a good try. Final question of this round. This two-word phrase explains why less helpful variations of a genotype die out over time. Give this term for the idea that the strongest organisms in a generation are most likely to survive and reproduce. Adaptation? No, I'm sorry, natural selection. That's the end of the round. How about a round of applause for our team? Here we go, first question. Hush puppies and tostadas are made with this food that can be served creamed for people with problem teeth. Name this grain that also gives us, Wesley. Uh, oat, I mean corn. Judges? No, I'm sorry, we have to take the first one. Corn is correct. Next question. Though he won the popular vote for three straight elections, he only served two terms as president. What Democrat succeeded Benjamin Harrison to win his second but non-consecutive presidential term? Grover Cleveland. Say that again. Grover Cleveland. That's correct. He's the only one to serve not two non-consecutive terms. Next question. The fifth of his nine symphonies begins with arguably the most famous eight notes in classical music. Name this German composer reported to have said the Plato. Beethoven. That is correct. Next question. What country's authors or characters are featured in the novels Dream of the Red Chamber, Taipan, The Good Earth, Revolution is Not a Dinner Party, Wesley? China. China is correct. Next question. Considered hypercarnivorous, this creature walks on sea and on, on sea ice and eats mostly seals. Name this La Plata. Polar bears. Polar bears is correct. Next question, mental math time. What is the slope of a line that is perpendicular to the line y equals negative 3x plus 8? Negative 3? No. What's there? Negative 3? No, I'm sorry, it's 1 third. It's 1 third. Oh my God. Next question. Oh my God. The Bitterroots in Montana, the Sangre de Cristos in Colorado, and the Tetons in Wyoming are all part of what larger mountain range that is the namesake of a Colorado National Park? Uh, Lackey. The Rockies. That is correct. Next question. This band still tours after almost 60 years and includes Brian, the last survivor of his three Wilson brothers. 
what rock band still sings their 1960s classics like Good Vibrations and California Girls? Leslie. The Beach Boys. That is correct. Next question. And its academic player asked to provide a synopsis of a novel might just mention the main character's name and the place where it's set. Spell the Greek word synopsis. Lafleta. S Y N O O P S I S. Are you adding the second? Judges. Why well, didn't you add the second? O. No, I had an extra O in it. Right. Sorry. Here's our final question. He spent the last year of his life as a professor at Princeton University. Name this German scientist who won a Nobel Prize. Look Einstein. That is correct. That's the end of the round. How about a round of applause for the team? get started, let's meet the team from McDonough. I'm Jim Burgess. I am a senior at McDonough, and I'd like to thank our amazing coaches, Ms. Hobbs and Ms. Howard. I'm Nick Long. I would like to thank all the staff at McDonough High School. I'm Olivia Johnson. I'm a senior at McDonough, and I would like to thank our fellow teammates, including our alternate Danny and our principal, Mr. Roberts. All right, I'm going to round of The first question is mental math, and here we go. As a percentage, give the probability that a single roll of a 20-sided number cube from a fantasy game will be at least 12. McDonald. 0.6. No, I'm sorry, 45%. That's what we were looking for. Next question. Pittsburgh Pirates legend Hannes Wagner and New York Yankees star Derek Jeter both played what position represented on a baseball scorecard by the number six? It would be shortstop. Shortstop. Next question. What four-letter prefix that creates new words when put before tone, lip, and gram comes from the Greek for the number one? Uh, North point. Mana. That's correct. Next question. Felix Mendelssohn's symphony with this number is nicknamed Italian. What is also the number of minutes in John Cage's most famous piece and the number of beats in a measure of common time? North point. Four. Four, that is correct. You can do a digress for a moment. John Cage's famous piece is entitled Four Minutes, 33 Seconds. The pianist walks out on stage. He sits down at the piano. The, the, move, the piece has three movements. The pianist does not play a single note for four minutes and 33 seconds. It is the reaction of the audience with the pianist. And at the end of four minutes and 33 seconds, he gets up, walks off the stage. That's John Cage's most famous piece. So. <laughs> All right, Kyle Graves asked me to explain that. <laughs> Here's our next question. This number can be improved on the FICO scale by keeping your MasterCard paid up. Monitored by Experian, what three-digit number, uh, Wesley? Oh, your credit score? That is, judges? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Next question. Some Americans who want to limit the number of immigrants from other countries are unfairly criticized as xenophobic or fearing strangers. Spell the adjective, Wesley. Uh, X-E-N-O-P-H-O-B-I-C. That is correct. Next question. <laughs> Rules for this process include emphasizing the number of different ideas generated. Name this mental process where a group generates as many McDonald's. Yes, that's correct. Next question. Give the number of counts in a 12-measure section of music written in 3-4 time. North 36. That is correct. Next question. 
give the number of words in the following sentence that should be capitalized. Dr. Smith will speak on Thursday at the Perfection Institute, even though his Wednesday speech contained three factual errors. Six. McDonough. Six. Six is correct. Final question. Gold box conjecture states that all even integers greater than two can be written as the sum of two of these. Identify this set whose members include 109, 73, 31, and five. McDonald. Prime numbers. That is correct. That's the end of round one. How about a round of applause for the team? All right, here we go, McDonough. Its spots, usually grouped in rosettes, are larger than a cheetah's spots. Identify this large cat in the genus Panthera. Leopard? That is correct. Next question. Guatemala separates this country from Belize, which was once the British version of this country, northwest of Nicaragua. Name the Central American nation whose capital is Tegucigalpa. Nicaragua? No, sorry, Honduras. Honduras. Next question. In the Iliad, she hides Paris just as Menelaus is about to kill him. Name this Greek goddess, the winner of a beauty contest over Athena and Hera, who oversaw love, beauty, and fertility. Aphrodite? That is correct. Next question. This substance is used to oxygenate gasoline, which in turn allows the fuel to burn more completely. Name this type of alcohol that is used in beer and wine. Yeast? No, sorry, ethanol, ethanol. Next question. Name the American composer of an outdoor overture, the ballets Rodeo and Billy the Kid, and the ballet Appalachian Spring. Polk? No, I'm sorry, Aaron Copeland. Aaron Copeland. All right, McDonough, get your paper and pencil ready. Go ahead and open the envelopes with the math question. And here we go. Valerie buys a 1 to 1,000 scale model of the Empire State Building. How tall is the model in inches if the Empire State Building itself has a height of 1,250 feet? 15. That is correct. Next question. A Dr. Ford claimed this man had assaulted her at a high school party. Name this judge who, in the fall of 2018, survived a 50 to 48 vote and was thus appointed to the United States Supreme Court. Brett Kavanaugh. That is correct. Final question, McDonough. The Veronica Roth novel Divergent is set in what U.S. city that is also the setting for Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun? And Sandra Cisneros' novel, Caramelo. Chicago. That is correct. So, McDonough, you get to choose North Point's questions. We have one and three. 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 Here's your first question. Call a wapiti in New Zealand. Name the animal known for the bugle sound it makes and for its shaggy neck hair and its antlers that is bigger than a deer but smaller than a moose. Arabic? I'm sorry, elk. elk. Next question. Cities on its shores include Ivoire in France and Montreux in Switzerland. 
what body of fresh water's English name reflects Switzerland's second largest city by population and largest French-speaking city? Rhine. No, I'm sorry, Lake Geneva, Lake Geneva. Next question. Name the man of myth who also brought, who almost brought his wife back to life after she was bitten by a snake, but whose looking at her behind him resulted in the loss of his beloved Eurydice. Orpheus. That is correct. Next question. This region in the atmosphere extends from the Earth's surface to a height of about six to 10 kilometers. Name this layer of atmosphere closest to the Earth. Troposphere? That's correct. Next question. Name the 19th century German composer famed for his extravagant works who had already written several operas before starting his four opera set about the Ring of the Nibelungs. Richard Wagner. All right, grab your pencils, open up the envelopes, and let's get ready for the math question. Here we go. A small glass of pure water may contain 5.1 times 10 raised to the 24th power, which is how many moles of water molecules if a mole equals 6 times 10 raised to the 23rd power? Nine? Close, sorry. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Next question. Name the federal cabinet department whose website includes resources about aviation, pipelines, trucking and motor coaches, railroads, public transit and automobiles. Public transportation? Judges? No. No. It's the Department of Transportation. Department of Transportation. Final question, North Point. Identify the fictional character created by Edgar Rice Burroughs, who eventually marries the daughter of Professor Porter after realizing he has inherited the title of Lord Greystoke from his father. That would be Tarzan. All right, Westlake, you guys get packet one. How about a round of applause for our envelope deliverers? He's doing a great job. All right, here we go. Westlake, your first question. After huge declines in its population, plans to help it include planting extra milkweed to create more food for its caterpillars. Name this insect with orange and black wings that pollinates wildflowers. Monarch butterflies? That is correct. Next question. Separated from Saudi Arabia by the Gulf of Bahrain, it is bordered on the north and east by the Persian Gulf that separates it from the United Arab Emirates. What small Middle Eastern nation's capital is Doha? Kuwait? No, I'm sorry, Qatar. Next question. His interest in a nymph named Syrinx created the musical instrument he used in a contest with Apollo. What Greek god of shepherd and hunters, who was half man and half goat, often played a reed flute? Pan. That is correct. Next question. Name the element that is combined with hydrogen in the compound that gives rotten eggs their smell. Sulfur. That is correct. Next question. Name the famed composer whose operas include The Clemency of Titus, 
Idomeneo, the abduction from the Seraglio, Cozy Fan Tute, and the Magic Flute. Mozart? That is correct. All right, get your paper and pencil ready and open up the math question envelopes. And here we go. A circle with diameter eight units is centered at the origin. Give the coordinates of the top point of the circle after the circle is translated seven units up and five units to the right. Five, seven. No, I'm sorry, 511. 511. Can you, you guys can hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're cutting in and out. Okay. I'll just talk loudly. Here we go. Name the Federal Cabinet Department begun after the September 11th attacks, whose secretary supervises the Federal Emergency Management Agency, Customs and Border Protection, and the TSA. Department of Homeland Security? That is correct. Here's your final question. Name the writer whose novel, Put in Head Wilson, written to try and stave off the bankruptcy created by his bad investments, was published in the same year as his first sequel about Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. That is correct. That's the end of this round. Let's have a round of applause for our team. Ten questions. Here's our first question. Name the Asian mountain whose climbers are usually aided by Sherpas like Tenzing Norke. Oh, Everest? That's correct. Next question. Mental math time. Simplify the expression 27 raised to the two-thirds power. McDonald. Nine. That is correct. Next question. In the sentence I saw your brother the other day, and gosh, he's grown. What part of speech is the word gosh? North Point. Interjection. That is correct. Next question. In humans, the left one has a cardiac notch to accommodate the heart. What organs, alveoli and bronchi, Wesley? The lungs. That is correct. Next question. Films on this site get ratings based on popcorn buckets, while its reviewers, Westlake. Rotten Tomatoes? That is correct. Next question. James Madison helped write the Federalist Papers to encourage the leaders of this large state to ratify the new U.S. Constitution. Identify the state whose cities include Syracuse, Rochester, and North Point. New York. That is correct. Next question. The diameter of the pot used in this art form should be over half the height of the tree. Identify this Japanese art form of pruning North Point. Bonsai. Bonsai is correct. Next question. Often heated by natural gas, its burners allow multiple foods to be heated or cooked at the same time. Give the most common name for this kitchen appliance. Oven. That is, no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's on top of an oven, we're looking for stove range. Next question. His story ends with the idea that he has dreamed the entire thing from reading books about chivalry. What character had a broken down horse named? Don Quixote. McDonald. Don Quixote. That is correct. And our final question of this round and of this game. Laurasia and Gondwana are large ancient land masses that were once part of what supercontinent who Westlake? Pangaea. That is correct. How about a round of applause for the team? Here we go. Category round. First question. T.S. Garp is the title character of his novel, The World According to Garp. Name this American writer whose title character, Owen Meany's dialogue, is always written in capital letters.
John Irving. John Irving. Next question. The variola virus causing this disease was eradicated from the world in St. Charles. Smallpox. Smallpox is correct. Next question. Name the Louisiana lake whose causeway bridge over it is the world's longest bridge over any body of water. Lake Pontchartrain. Next question. Singer Jimmy Buffett had a cameo in this film as a tourist running for his life. What movie whose main plot about a hybrid creature, Wesley? World's End? No, I'm sorry. Uh, the creature is a Dominus Rex. We're talking about Jurassic World. Mm. Next question. Name this type of house of worship with at least one minaret that is used by billions. Wesley. Mosques. Mosques. Next question. This object that can cut the fabric between worlds is used by Will Perry to cut into the home of Sir Charles Latrum. Name this title object of the second book of Philip Pullman's trilogy, His Dark Materials. The Subtle Knife. Hmm. Next question. This is the one question I actually knew the answer to. But don't let that influence you buzzing in. Name the toy whose experts can perform tricks with it like rock the baby, walk the dog, and around Wesley. Yo yo. Correct. And audience, were you all with me? Did you all know the yeah, yeah, we knew that one, right? There we go. Nice job. Here we go. We got three questions left. Its lyrics by Isaac Watts encourage every heart to prepare room for Jesus. Name this Christmas carol whose first line melody, uh, La Plata. Joy to the world. Joy to the world is correct. Next question. Sentenced to death for murdering the time, it is always tea time in his world. Name this man from Wonderland who must stand witness, La Plata. The Mad Hatter. That is correct. Here's final question, round one. It is the world's largest TV maker, computer chip maker, and mobile phone maker. Wesley. Samsung. Samsung is correct. How about a round of applause for the team? All right, St. Charles, here we go with your first question. NASA scientists think it may once have had a shallow ocean that evaporated from its being so close to the sun. Identify this planet with no natural satellites, the next closest to the sun from Earth. Mercury? I'm sorry, Venus. Next question. During this organization's existence from 1865 to 1872, it was considered part of the U.S. War Department. What group concentrated on helping newly freed slaves start a new life after the Civil War? Fine. Freedmen's Bureau. Oh. Next question. The cigar ad over its diner's window says, only five cents, and gives many viewers the idea that the diner is called Phillies. Name this Edward Hopper painting of a diner on a dark and deserted street corner. Nighthawks. Nighthawks. Next question. The elements argon, krypton, radon, and helium are all part of what group of the periodic table that doesn't generally react with other elements because their outside electron shells are full? Noble gases. That is correct. Next question. In a play from this country, the black servants Sam and Willie remember making a kite for the white boy, Howley. Name this country where, in another novel, Steve Cumulo searches for his son, Absalom. Absalom. 
Time. South Africa. Next question. He plans to stay at his current job for the rest of his career after a past stop with current division rival LSU. What football coach has won six national championships at Alabama? My daughter went to Auburn and she's going to be really, she's going to give you guys bonus points on her scorecard for you not knowing the name of that coach because they're big rivals. But anyway, the coach is Nick Saban, Nick Saban. And for my daughter, I say War Eagle. <laughs> War Eagle. <laughs> Ryan's enjoying that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Get your paper and pencil ready. Time for the math question. Give the length of each side of a square if the square's area in square feet is five times the square's perimeter in feet. Five. Twenty-five. No, I'm sorry, it's twenty feet. Twenty feet. Next question. She appears in a recent movie, Team with the Dames. Name this British actress, best known on TV as the Dowager Countess Violet Crawley in Downton Abbey, and in film as Professor McGonagall. Let's see, Matt, I don't know her last name. Just say her first name. Maggie. We needed the last name on that. You were, you were on the right track, Dame Maggie Smith. Maggie Smith. Next question. Name the series of ancient conflicts whose third and final struggle ended in 146 BC after Cato's famous statement that Carthage must be destroyed. Peloponnesian Wars? No, I'm sorry, Punic Wars, Punic Wars. Here's your final question. The verbs bring, pass, teach, and write are all examples of what type of verb that requires a direct object to act upon? Adverb? No, I'm sorry, transitive verb, transitive verb. First question. Its moons are all named for characters created by either Alexander Pope or William Shakespeare. Identify this planet discovered by William Herschel and named for a Greek god. Uranus. Uranus. Next question. Give the two-word term for the movement of millions of blacks in the early 20th century from southern cities to northern cities like Chicago. The Great Migration. That is correct. Next question. The original of this painting depicts a room in the Alcazar Palace with a large brown dog at the bottom. Name this painting of the family of Philip IV of Spain created by Spaniard Diego Velazquez. Hi. Las Meninas. Next question. This element is in the amino acid methionine, as well as the rocks pyrite and galena. What smelly yellow element is directly under oxygen in the periodic table? Sulfur. Correct. Next question. This character journeys to planets where he meets a king with no subjects and a businessman who counts stars. Name this character created by Antoine de saint exupéry a small person of royal birth. The Little Prince. The Little Prince. Next question. This team's ring of honor includes former lineman Tony Vaselli and former quarterback Mark Brunel. 
what NFL team? Part of the AFC South plays its home games at the TIAA Bank Field. The Panthers? No, sorry, Jacksonville or Jaguars. It's a good try. All right, let's get, the, get your paper and pencil ready. It's time for the math question. Here we go. In intercept form, give the equation of the line connecting the points 0, 1, and 2, 2. Uh, y equals 1 half x plus 1. That is correct. Next question. One of these characters named his daughters Cagney and Lacey after an old TV series. Name this Fox TV comedy that features Andy Samberg as a detective in a New York City police precinct. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That is correct. Next question. A Greek geographer described this landmark as vaulted terraces raised one above another. Identify this wonder of the ancient world built by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar to cheer up his wife. The Hanging Gardens. That is correct. Final question. Name the verb tense whose present, past, and future in English all use a form of the verb have as in, he has completed his exam, or by tomorrow, we will have used all the gas in the car. Uh, the perfect? That is correct. Thank you, Spanish. Here we go, Westlake, here's your first question. The International Astronomical Union defines this term as a celestial body that orbits the sun. Give this term that describes eight large bodies in our solar system, but not Pluto. Planet? That is correct. Next question. Identify the constitutional amendment whose words, the rights of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged on account of race. The Allow black men to vote. The 13th Amendment? I'm oh, sorry, the 15th Amendment. Next question. Giovanni, the man at the left, is wearing a black fur-trimmed hat and holding the right hand of his wife. Name this painting of a couple about to be married that says in Latin, Jan van Eyck was here, 1434. The Venetian couple? No, I'm sorry, the Arnolfini wedding. Oh my God, Next question. Its compounds are studied in organic chemistry, while its radioactive 14 isotope is used to estimate the age of objects thousands of years old. Name this main ingredient of methane. Uranium? I'm sorry, carbon. Carbon. Oh my god, carbon dating. Oh my god. Next question. Literary movements in this country have included Weimar classicism and Sturmum Drang. Name this country whose 20th century writers included Bertolt Brecht. Germany, Germany. Next question. Sometimes called Boise, in honor of Boise State's success with it, name the football play where a receiver in the middle of the field tosses the ball just before he is tackled to a teammate just behind him. A flea flicker? No, I'm sorry, good try. It's the hook and ladder or the hook and ladder ball. That's a good try. All right, let's get our papers and pencils ready. And get the envelope open with the math question. And here we go. Give the angle that can be bisected into one angle of x plus 21 degrees and another angle of 3x minus 17 degrees. Next question. Identify the red-haired comedian of the 1950s whose classic TV sitcom, still shown today, 
included her friends Fred and Ethel and her real-life husband, Desi Arnaz, who played band leader Ricky Ricardo. I Love Lucy. I would need the name of the red-haired comedian. Lucy Ball. Judges? We'll take that. Okay. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> Next question. Name the South American country whose ancient site at Chavín de Huantar in the Andes Mountains predated the Incas by hundreds of years. Peru. That is correct. And here's your final question. Two main examples of this grammar error are fused sentences and comma splices. Identify this grammar error shown in the sentence, I ran outside, the dog bit me. Run on sentence? That is correct. Oh That's the end of the round. How about a round of applause for our students? Final round, here we go. The tail, the anal, the caudal, and the soft and spiny dorsals on top are all types of what structure found in fish that may be webbed, St. Charles? Fin. Fin is correct. Next question. A nonprofit organization whose finance person steals all the organi organization's money is said to be a victim of embezzlement, defined as theft by someone in a position of trust. Spell embezzlement. St. Charles. E-M-B-E-Z-Z-L-E-M-E-N-T. That is correct. Next question. His namesake art gallery sells a book for his sister Nan, or sells a book by his sister Nan, who is seen in his most famous painting next to a man holding a pitchfork. St. Charles. American Gothic. No, I'm sorry, we're looking for the, the, um, the painter of the American Gothic, who is Grant Wood. Next question. The Coral Sea is northeast of this nation. The Indian Ocean is west and New Zealand is southeast of Westlake. Australia. That is correct. Next question. Mental math time for science. The value of a variable resistor must be set so the 18 volts across it create a current of no more than six milliamps. What is the minimum setting for the resistor? 3,000 ohms. The play 3,000 ohms. That is correct. Next question. Its final album was called Let It Be. What British rock band's previous versions were played up? The Beatles. That is correct. Yeah. And that's the only other question I knew the answer. <laughs> Here we go. Next question. Mental math time. Find the product of the cube root of 4, the cube root of 5, and the cube root of 50. Ten. La Plata. Ten. Ten is correct. Next question. Steps to install this device include caulking around the outside to prevent water leaks onto a bathroom floor. Name this restroom fixture whose easy, easily repairable parts include a flapper and a flush handle. Toilet. Say, that is correct. Next question. His recent novel, Bridge of Clay, tells of Clay Dunbar and his four brothers, named this Australian author of I Am the Messenger, whose novel about Rudy Steiner and Liesl Memminger is called The Book Thief. Oh my God, the book, yeah. Marcus Zusak. Yeah. Next question. Identify the radioactive isotope of carbon that contains six protons, six electrons, and eight neutrons. Carbon-14. Next question. The bullwhip used by Indiana Jones and the sword used by Anigio Montoya 
in the movie The Princess Bride are both examples of what type of object? Props. Westlake. Props. That is correct. Next question. Which term in psychology means excessive or neurotic admiration of oneself? And Westlake. Narcissism. That is correct. Next question. Stops on the U.S. Civil Rights Trail in this city include a church where Martin Luther King preached. What Alabama city's Rosa Parks, St. Charles? Selma. No, I'm sorry, Montgomery. Montgomery. Next question. In 2018, this country's leadership began limiting its youth employment service to only black citizens. What nation's plans to advance blacks at the expense of whites began after its government ended apartheid? South Western. Africa. That is correct, and here's our final question. Name the British author who took eight years off between his story, The Final Problem, whose ending was set in Switzerland, and his novel, The Hound of the Baskervilles. Arthur Conan Doyle. La Plata. Arthur Conan Doyle. That is correct. That's the end of the game. I remember. St. Charles has 130, Westlake 230, and La Plata 280. So congratulations to all the teams. Let's give La Plata a good, well-deserved round of applause.